in the initial moments when you were witnessing what happened, take us back to that. Uh, sure. We heard the news uh, while we were in Donetsk, um, which is about an hour and a half drive from here. Uh, there were a few sort of news flashes on the wires that uh, a plane had been brought down, a civilian plane potentially. Uh, so we drove out here and found a, a sort of strange scene of smoke rising over this hillside, rebels kind of waving us through uh, checkpoints, which they normally don't uh, do. not do. And uh, we found, I think, what uh, what I said last night um, still stands. I mean, it was it's a total disaster and a total tragedy. And uh, looking at it now in daylight, I mean, you wander through these fields and you pretty much have to look, uh, watch every step, because if you don't, you could step on a person's organ. I mean, it's like it was raining body parts. Um, and like I said, I think the folks on the ground here have very little uh, idea how to respond to this, um, as as it seems to me, uh, the international community. Um, it's not something that really fits into any uh, any schema. Yeah. So uh, you said it's like it's raining bodies, and and uh, it was a, you know it was very descriptive what you said. You would step on someone's body part. We have heard reports of people looting the victims' bodies and taking pieces of the plane, but you're there. Have you witnessed people doing that? I have not witnessed that at all. Um, I'm not sure where those reports are coming from. Uh, I don't have access to the Internet out here, as, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, but um, from what I've seen, uh, there's, what's surprising is how few people there are. Uh, this place is like... Uh, nearly empty everyone's there's like i said there's these emergency services teams kind of clustered on the road mm -hmm. and then these uh little pockets of rebels like three guys wandering through the fields um kind of looking glassy-eyed at uh what's left here mm -hmm. um i don't see any sign of people uh looting bodies not that, that these are bodies you'd want to loot mm -hmm. um i mean pretty much anything anyone had on them has been destroyed um, and if you, you know, at some point the photographs will come out of what's happened here. If you walk up to these bodies, you are not about to stick your hands on them. Yeah. Um, people are turned inside out. Uh, so the notion that someone is going around and looting is, uh, is to me pretty, uh, pretty absurd. And, and uh, the stuff about moving plane parts, um, I haven't seen any evidence of that, in part because most of the plane burned up. 